Hello everyone, my name is Nishit Pancholi. I'm the president and co-founder of Joint Tech Labs. We at Joint Tech Labs are excited to bring standardized point-of-care stem cell therapies for you. This is an example of an invasive arthroscopic surgery, one that involves enduring pain and a long rehab. However, in the coming decades, 50% of these surgeries won't be done anymore. Instead of doing surgeries, we will use our body's own stem cells to repair and regenerate damaged tissues. The market for such regenerative medicine therapies is $25 billion today and expected to double to $50 billion in just seven to eight years. For example, a patient with a knee meniscus tear or a spinal injury for that matter currently has surgery and a long rehab as the only option to treat it. However, if stem cell therapy becomes a clinical option, these patients will be able to use their own stem cells as therapies. The FDA realizes the huge potential of stem cell therapy and has brought a new fast-track approval process called as RMAT, or Regenerative Medicine Advanced Therapy, which allows to bring stem cell therapies to the market sooner because it does not follow the gold standard clinical trial pathway, which takes about eight to 10 years and tens of millions of dollars. Instead, for RMAT, upon submission of proof of concept, and safety studies, we can get an IND with an RMAT designation followed by an approved marketable stem cell therapy all in about two to three years. So what's stopping stem cell therapy to become the standard of care? It's astounding that it's actually the logistics. Currently, the tools required to derive stem cells are found only in a lab and not in a doctor's office. But the FDA does not allow the doctors to ship the cells from the clinic to a distant lab for processing. Thus, shipping is not feasible. Also, it is impractical to change the current infrastructure in the doctor's office to build a lab because there are barriers of high cost, $200,000, decreased feasibility because it requires lab space and certifications, as well as issues with quality assurance. Therefore, at Joint Tech Labs, we have shrunk all the lab tools required to derive stem cells and have created a stem cell therapy device that can work with the current infrastructure at the doctor's office. We call it Mini-STEM. Mini-STEM is a single-use disposable lab in your hands, which has dual functions. It can give you your own stem cells from fat, or you can get a cell-enriched fat graft. Most importantly, Mini-STEM makes regenerative medicine FDA approvable because now the doctors can get stem cell therapies in the clinic from the patient in about one and a half hours without the cells ever leaving the facility. Next, you will see a video how a doctor is using Mini-STEM to process fat collected from the patient in the office to extract purified, concentrated stem cells. The fat from the patient is collected and introduced into the device and washed thoroughly. It is then centrifuged using a tabletop centrifuge in the doctor's office. Next, a reagent is applied for stem cell extraction and further processed in a shaker in the office. The stem cell fraction is then extracted and further purified and concentrated. The final stem cell fraction is collected and is ready for injection for any indication. So how do we know our device gives excellent quality and quantity of stem cells? Of course, we have our own internal validations, but we have external validations, most important one being at Stanford. Their data also shows 2.1 times the number of stem cells per volume of fat using mini-stem as compared to their own lab protocol. Thus, a handheld device can give more clinical efficacy than a $200,000 lab based on these results. As a further validation, we have been included in the IRB at Stanford and are in the process of being in the IRB at USC. We work with key opinion leaders in the field and have pre-sales worth $960,000 from surgical centers and clinics to purchase mini-stem upon approval. 
we have a collaboration with AAOS, which gives us access to more than 200 doctors focused on regenerative orthopedics as potential buyers of Ministem. With Alma Lasers, a multi-million dollar company in the plastic surgery business, we have a mutual interest for Ministem distribution. Upon 510K approval within the next three months, we will bring Ministem as a standalone device for plastic surgeons, orthopedic practices, and hospital systems. Price for each disposable device is $600 with a 75% margin. But our ultimate goal is to bring stem cell therapeutics to the market, the first indication being in orthopedics. We will use the RMAT pathway to bring stem cell therapies to the market, and price per therapy will be $3,000 with a 90% margin. We have already accomplished our first step towards our first stem cell therapeutic product for osteoarthritis. We have proof of concept data that shows that mini stem stem cells can be differentiated into cartilage cells in vitro. We have shown it by two ways. One, by staining of these differentiated cartilage cells, as well as release of glycosaminoglycans by these differentiated cartilage cells. We have two full patents granted in the US. We have several CIP and PCTs pending worldwide. We aim to get 510K approval in the next three months and bring the product to market by October 2018. For stem cell therapeutics, we will begin safety studies for osteoarthritis by October 2018, and using RMAT pathway, we will bring the first stem cell therapeutic product for osteoarthritis by early 2020. We will target more indications in wound healing and vascular indications starting uh, end of 2019. We have an excellent team. Dr. Nathan Katz has a PhD and more than 20 years of experience in the stem cell biology field. I am a medical doctor with a focus on clinical applications of stem cells. Felix has a long-standing experience in business and sales. We have an accomplished advisory board. Just to name a few, Dr. Patricia Zuck is the discoverer of adipose or fat-derived stem cells, and she sits on our board. We work with Dr. Kahn. She's a pioneer in the orthopedic applications of stem cells. We are raising $3 million, and we welcome you to join in the opportunity to bring mini stem and standardized point of care stem cell therapies to the market, not in 10 years, but now. Thank you. Thank you.